this feels like Cornwall a bit back to normal. Uh, a few cars, doggos to walk, um, less people. Prior uh, Sands was very empty in comparison to how the beaches have been. Um, and uh, yeah. Um, we are now got our perm for today, our last treat, last day with Ali before she goes back to school. Um, we are off to Truru and she's trading in some of her tickets she's earned for some pocket money to spend in the Star Wars shop. Um, it's the only real, no, I say real treat, it's the only monetary treat she'll really have had this holiday. Um, we're treated to ice creams and few trips out and she went out with her auntie Lynn but not loads of stuff it's just silly little things here and there really so this is her kind of big treat treat I guess today and for us because we're going to go to the bookshops we're going to go to the nerd shops we're going to buy loads of crap I suppose no not suppose we will yeah we've been building it for a little while yeah we we'll make a fortune there and some come on then baby let's go let's go good girl keep looking for your castle can you see your castle keep peeking there it is there's your castle. What are you looking like? That's crazy look. Not that we need any more board games. But we bought another board game. So it comes with some nice it comes with some nice little minis. There are four characters. They're pretty sweet. You got this steampunky person, a little cat boy, and a little girl with pigtail. Girl with pigtails. And um, really nice, quite simple sculpts, but really nice. And I'm not quite sure why it's got me quite so excited, but I get tokens with apples on. Ah, apples! Good morning, everybody. It has turned into super thick soupy soupy gloom uh, compared to yesterday which was beautiful boiling hot this is what we got this morning uh, it's not just mist it's rain and mist which is a lovely combination and um, so we're st I'm staying inside today uh, been lipped to town with Debs I had to get a few bits from that super glue pray tell why might you need super glue well I just need it for the next project because I think I'm actually finally maybe finished this thing. So yeah we've got the three pieces made, uh, lots of fine little details added so it's ready to be sprayed black, um, black base then painting and then gritting the bottom with uh, some grey sand which is my favourite one to use because it's free uh, from my beach down the road and uh, it's really good mix of textures in it as well. It looks really good. So uh, let's give you a few of the details close up. We got headless statue communication antenna, baby face robot billboard numbers, cog dangly chain cruncher. Liquid holder 
pipe spewer. Grabby McGrab grabs. And real life moving chain. So yeah, I'm pretty chuffed with all this. It's come out really well. It was a ill-conceived concept. Um, however, it's turned out better than I thought. It took a while to add all the extra finer details. But I'm glad I spent the time before, like, I have a tendency to rush things. I talked about this before. I just want to get it done, 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 quickly, quickly, quickly. But doing this over the course of a few weeks has led me to be able to see where there are bits that I'm not happy with, add more bits, change parts. Um, for example, I had put, I had glued terrain here, uh, a set of pipes and stuff. Uh, they were fixed then. However, I changed my mind and made them modular. So I peeled them off, uh, which ripped the canvas top, but with a little bit of filler we've solved that problem. I uh, did that in several places. Another patch here, uh, for example, let's get that blob of glue off, cashew glue, um, and uh, I've made them modular. So they are the first things that got sprayed, they're out in the shed. I've set up a little kind of spray boothing uh, set up in there really. It's just cardboard, I say spray booth, it's not, it's just cardboard and I'm wearing a mask in the shed. Uh, I'm going in there and it's raining and it's, uh, yeah, going to probably get quite high from paint fumes today. So here we are. It is now all spray painted black. It's looking so cool already and it's not even had any colour put on it. Um, yeah, it just looks wicked. I gotta say, I'm loving this game. It is so cool. I mean, it's really easy to play once you've got the concept, but it is hard in a way because you've got to plan everything. The minis are sweet, the artwork is gorgeous. I mean, look at these little higgledies having a tea party or whatever. So cute. And then there's like Norma, look at that. That's cool. Snicker snarl, look at that. Green. Oh, I like the fangfish. Look at this guy. Look great. In other news, uh, we have uh, Ali's friend Isabel staying over, and um, today I've mostly just painted uh, dragons and a bit of terrain. I haven't done very much at all. I've finished a Shardalon, and I'll just go and grab him to show you. Yeah, I was going to show you a Shardalon. It's now the next morning. Oops. There's that handsome brute. There he is. I also, in the interim, between having painted him, I've painted some Chaos cultists. Crouch down, Ali. Come to see me. Hello, Bus. What are you doing in the playground? It's one of those days today where um, you're not, it's not really raining, it's just that you're present within moisture. Some local fishing boat going out. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just generally damp all around my body because I'm walking through a cloud. I can't really see it here, you can see it over there. Well, you can just about see the mount now, but I saw cloud around that way. It's not really rain. So yeah, I just walked Ali to school. We were looking after Isabel last night. Um, 
so my mum could have some peace and quiet and maybe go on a trip. That has not happened. Uh, but Isabel's at home and I've walked Ali in in this kind of strange mizzle or cloud or whatever. And now I'm heading to Newland Beach to stock up on some sand for basing my minis because that's what I like to do.